Thanks for joining us here at The Research Her, the show working to improve the health disparities for women of color, one topic at a time. And I am Alicia. I'm here learning and growing with you as we research our way to wellness. I am here to bring you a very interesting research topic. I'm about to tell y'all a secret that the Fitstagram models don't want you to know. You listening, sis? Lean in, okay? You ready? It's possible to have an orgasm while you're working out, doing your exercise, okay? If you are someone who has experienced it, I'm here to let you know that you are not alone. There are studies out there with regards to this. And if you are someone who has not experienced it, you have something to look forward to in the future, you know? So let me get into it. So today I'm gonna be discussing a paper that I found called Exercise Induced Orgasm and Pleasure Among Women by Debbie Herbenick and Dennis Fortenberry. The title is very self-explanatory. The reason why I wanted to bring this up is a few reasons. One, I wish that we talk more about orgasms and that it wasn't such a taboo subject. A lot of people love orgasms, even if they do not necessarily want to have sex or like sex. Orgasms still something that people find pleasure in. Another reason that I really want to talk about it is why don't we talk about them more? I also want for more of us to find pleasure in exercising so that we do it more and we can be more active. We know that exercise helps improve quality and quantity of life. So if knowing you can orgasm while working out is a motivator for you, I want to be here to spotlight this particular subject. Maybe I'll, you know, kickstart somebody's new workout career. Who's to say? And honestly, this is just a pretty cool research topic and maybe highlighting it here can inspire your next research project. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, let's talk about getting rid of that gut and busting that nut. That's how my great sis, Brittany Cooper, said it. She wanted me to name the podcast episode that. So orgasms have typically been considered to be sexual experiences. However, what this paper suggests is that orgasms and sexual activity are not synonymous. Something that is interesting is about 35% of American women did not have an orgasm during their most recent sexual event based on a 2010 study. Pretty old at this point. It's been a decade. Maybe there's a more up-to-date study, but that's what we have here right now. The difficulty with orgasm is associated with psychiatric diagnosis as like a sexual dysfunction. Orgasms that occur outside of explicitly sexual contexts have received less attention than those that happen during sex. Orgasms have been reported during sleep and during teeth brushing. I thought that was cool. If you have felt that you are not alone again. I want to just like throw all these like random orgasm things in here. They're mentioned in the paper. And I want to make sure that as I'm bringing this subject out and putting it on this platform that I'm just letting everyone know if you had these orgasms at these times, you're like, whoa, what just happened? You are not the only one that has experienced it and more research actually needs to be done on these topics. And in 1953, it was noted that 5% of interviewed women from a particular study report orgasms during exercises. It could have been more women that actually did experience it. But in that particular study, it was volunteered by the subjects, but it was not asked of them. So maybe if that was one of the questions in that study, that information would have been given up more willingly. And because it wasn't a question that was asked, it was volunteered by 5% of the women. Because of the workouts that are associated with exercise-induced orgasm are mainly abdominal workouts, this there's this term that is used called corgasms. So core refers to the muscle uh, of the trunk and pelvis. And also orgasms have been associated with yoga and they're called yogasms. <laughs> 
like that. Uh, little is known scientifically about exercise induced orgasms, which is a term that was used in scientific literature as early as 1996 when women were reporting unintentional orgasms during physical activity. And it actually happens in the absence of sexual fantasy and without clothing-related clitoral pleasure or friction. The mechanism for the female orgasm is unclear. It is a significant amount of women who experience orgasms during physical movement then reach an exercise-induced orgasms. So if a significant amount of women experience orgasms during physical movement, then maybe this exercise-induced orgasm experience may teach us a little something more about women's bodies and that orgasms do not have anything to do with sex or reproduction. So the study that I am discussing today had the goal of better understanding exercise-induced orgasms and exercise-induced sexual pleasure, which are two different topics. This study surveyed over 500 people, so 124 women reported having an exercise-induced orgasm, 246 reported exercise-induced sexual pleasure without an orgasm, so 69 identify as 69% of the women in the study identify as heterosexual. A nice amount of the minority of women had experienced exercise-induced orgasms or sexual pleasure 11 times or more in their life. What I get from this, this is purely my interpretation. Once our great sisters find out that they can do this, they do it, okay? So, <laughs> don't miss your wave, six. Don't miss your wave. A majority of the women who experience orgasms has some self-consciousness, and that's just because they feel like they're making some sort of sounds. So, really, it's not that they're embarrassed that they had an orgasm. It's just that they're like, oh, shit, do people know that I'm doing this? So, exercises that have been associated with sexual pleasure or sexual pleasure inducing exercise have been biking and spinning, weightlifting, and abdominal exercises. So those are the top exercises that are associated with sexual pleasure. So exercises that these women report doing when they had their first orgasms were abdominal workouts, climbing ropes or poles, and weightlifting. So what this kind of reminds me of is women who do pole fitness, I really wonder, like, are they experiencing orgasms during their pole fitness exercises? That's pretty cool. Let me pull out my pole. A majority of women who had orgasms reporting having no sexual fantasies or sexually exciting thoughts. And a majority of women who had sexual pleasure that was induced by exercise had them at least sometimes. And by them, I mean sexual fantasies. 88% of women say they did not use their fingers to stimulate their genitals in order to help with reaching orgasm. What this article demonstrates is that some women do experience orgasms apart from sexual experience. Most of the women were happy about these experiences as they should be, and some of the people reported that they were confident that after a certain period of time or number of reps that they would experience an orgasm. So some women also reported making sounds during exercise-induced orgasms, which suggests that vocalization may be a reflective response of orgasm and not necessarily a tactic to alter a partner's sexual response. You're doing it just as a reaction to your personal experience, not to please your partner. That's kind of cool to think about. So the exercise that was reported to really be seen as a orgasm inducing <laughs> exercise was when the women were doing the captain's chair. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with the captain's chair, but it's a rack with padded armrests. So you, you know, you put your arms down, kind of, you know, bent elbows on this little pad. It's like a padded 
back support too so you lean back you have your arms and then your legs are allowed to hang freely and the goal in that workout is to bring lift your knees to your chest and you do that repeatedly and that is one of the exercises that women reported with inducing orgasm but it was really those core workouts so sexual activity is itself an exercise so that's something to consider too that maybe all orgasms are exercise induced hmm we don't know but that's it that's the episode i hope i inspired you to do some push-ups, some sit-ups, some captain's chairs. Let me know what you thought about it. If you haven't already, please go shoot some reviews and ratings. And if you want to reach me, I am at The Research Her for all the socials. You can also go to theresearchher.com. And until next time, I holla.